Hi everyone and welcome to this presentation. So today we are going to basically revise a November 2022 paper and the question under discussion is basically neonatal tetanus. So let me give you a highlight of the question. So we have question 1, define neonatal tetanus. Then we have question 2, state the 5 signs and symptoms. Then we have 3, explain 5 preventive measures of neonatal tetanus. Then an add-on question will be the predisposing factors of neonatal tetanus. So we're going to begin with the definition of neonatal tetanus. So neonatal tetanus is basically defined as an acute disease occurring in neonates and affects the central nervous system causing painful muscular contractions. We are going to move to the next set of questions which were state the five signs and symptoms so we have got quite a number of signs and symptoms so we have number one progressive stiffness and tenderness of the muscles in the neck and jaw we also have irritability and restlessness we also have difficulties in sucking as well as swallowing we also have um, stiffness of the neck we can also include painful muscular contractions and convulsions uh, our feet sign and symptom can be fixed facial expressions which can be also known as recess adonicus but this is mainly due to spasms of the facial muscles we also have difficulties in opening the mouth this can basically be named as trismus due to sustained contractions of the lower jaw so we can also include laryngospasms tetany of the respiratory muscles which may lead to accumulation of secretions respiratory arrest as well as atelectasis then lastly we can also include um, orbital tonus so this is mainly due to involvement of the trunk muscles so we're going to also discuss some of the predisposing factors of neonatal tetanus so we have number one use of contaminated razor blades to cut the umbilical cord then we have b contamination and delivery as a result of use of a contaminated environment then we also have application of cow, cow dung or maybe soils or even herbs on the umbilical stump. Then we also have poor hygiene of the umbilical cord. Then we have non immunization of mothers against tetanus. Then we also have a piercing of the earlobe with an infected instrument. We are now going to discuss the preventive measures. Then we are also now going to conclude by highlighting the nursing management. So. The preventive measures are as follows so this is basically five points so we have number one encourage the community to be delivering from a health institution where the hygienic conditions are maintained then we have encouraged the community members to take under five years children for a children's clinic for immunizations against tetanus then we also have discouraged community members from using cow dung powder and hair bulk uh, preparations to avoid introductions of infections such as tetanus uh, fourth we have advised traditional birth attendants to use clean razor blades during deliveries lastly we have educate women of childbearing age mainly from the ages of 15 to 45 years to receive at least a tetanus um, vaccine according to schedule so this basically marks the end of the, this presentation Check out the next presentation on the nursing management in the next video.